Hey everyone, it's Jason from EskimoTV.net, and today I'm going to be reviewing Sweeney Todd the Musical, which is produced by Theater Under the Stars. This will be showing here in Houston, Texas until Sunday, October 29th at the Hobby Center. If you prefer to read my review, you can go check it out over at EskimoTV.net. Net. This production brings some of the opera genre into this musical sensation. I highly recommend watching Tim Burton's 2007 film, perhaps with captions, or reading a quick synopsis online if you're stretched for time to get the general gist of the story before heading over to see this production. I'll be completely transparent. It was a bit of a challenge to understand all of the words due to the operatic singing, characters talking fast and me myself not being familiar with the source material as I was looking forward to going into the story blind. Because of this, I quickly realized that I would have to stay laser focused on every word that I did comprehend for this musical's underlying beautiful story to come together vividly. However, fans who are familiar with the film slash source material should greatly appreciate the production which has much to admire. And after spending my 15 intermission quickly reading an overview of the story, Act 2 was a much more compelling and ultimately a recommendation from me as a musical. If you go in already knowing the main beats of the story, it will make, I think, for an extremely entertaining viewing. Sweeney Todd, who's played in this performance by Danny Rothman, takes on the persona of a barber with Miss Lavette, played by Sally Wilfert, who's a pie shop owner, and together they plan on slaughtering the customers who need a haircut to use as meat for love at shop. More than anything, Todd yearns to slit the throat of the judge, who's played by Brian Mathis, who wrongfully incarcerated him years before for a crime he did not commit, inflicting terrible chaos on him and his family. The moral of this story is to go check Yelp before you get your next haircut. Jokes aside, the story is unique and unlike anything I've seen before. Despite Sweeney Todd's crazy, outlandish, terrifying behavior, you can't help but feel bad for what he's endured, but you still know at the end of the day he's awful for ending all of these innocent human lives. Rothman's performance as the protagonist balances an instant likability from the way he speaks and moves slash the character's troubled past with his monstrous killing actions, resulting in an incredibly complex and intriguing character that was enjoyable to follow. Rothman's sublime bass slash baritone voice has power, and the bottom rock low notes, which I thought were the most impressive, were sung with an incredible amount of vibrant color and a texture that stands out from most other voices. Sally Wilford's character, Miss Lavette, brings forth a carefree, whimsical energy similar to Madame Mim from Disney's The Sword in the Stone. She's loud, she's sinister, and finds nothing wrong with cooking murdered humans. The duo who perform frequently together complement each other effectively. The technical achievements in the production are outstanding. The set is immaculate, combining practical sets that the characters walk into with background screens that reveal much detail. There are realistic blood effects when the evil duo eliminate various customers who come in for their haircut. The lighting strikes a haunting mood. The costumes take us out of the world of 2023 and into the 19th century era in which the story takes place. The ensemble brings forth a choral force that allows several numbers to have a powerful impact. And the narrative arrives at the climax with tons of twists and turns that are sure to shock, delight, and frighten the audience. By the time we get to the end, there's much you learn regarding the identities of a few characters that completely shake up the story. The effective horror you will witness and the bombshell curveballs that the plot throws your way make Sweeney Todd a tuts performance you don't want to miss. And ultimately, like I said earlier, this is going to be a recommendation 
for me. This will once again be uh, showing at the Hobby Center here in Houston, Texas until this Sunday, October the 29th. Uh, if you're checking this video out because you're wanting to see this performance somewhere else, I think it is an effective uh, production and I think it's one you'll want to uh, go check out. Um, and that'll do it for my quick review of Sweeney Todd, the musical. Let me know what you think about this musical in the comments below. Have you seen this live production before? What did you think about it? Have you seen the film? Is the musical something that you would want to go see yourself? I would love to know all of that. And if you enjoyed this review video, please do me a favor and smash that like button. That'll help the algorithm rank this video higher in the search results. And if you'd like to see content like this in your feed, consider subscribing to the channel where you will see more videos like this one in your feed. And you can also check out the website that I mentioned earlier, EskimoTV.net. That's going to have reviews from myself as well as other authors. Until next time, y'all. My name is Jason Escamilla from EskimoTV.net.